What's up guys, back with another one. I'm Ryan, my man George. Shaking guys, how y'all living out there? Lost in Vegas, coming back at you with an unbiased real reaction, baby. Man, shout out to our free diggers, of course, man. Yeah, man, Team Backpack, That's aka right. the Three Wise Men. Yeah, yeah, but before we get into that, we do have merch available, guys. Yes, sir. I have the Acid Watch hoodie on, Ryan's got the label T, so the information for merch will be in the description. Make sure y'all check that out, support your boys. Yeah, man, and go to the store, because we have lots of other options, man. I know you, only, you guys only seen us wear this and the hoodie, but man, we got crew necks, we got all long that. sleeves, all that. So check it beans, out. Beans, beans. Yeah, <laughs> green. <laughs> we made it all. Yeah. So the last cipher freestyle, you guys have been hitting us up like crazy for this reaction. Yes, sir. Man. You guys hit us up. This kind of dropped around the time that we had videos planned for Christmas, so we couldn't get to it. Um, but we had to get to it. It was inevitable. And then the cherry on top, of course, was uh, Oswin reaching out to us on Twitter, man. Yeah, man. Um, asking if we could do it, man. Oswin, you know, dude. Yeah, you only had to ask, man. This, yeah. this is inevitable. This is going to happen. Gonna anyway. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway because the fans have been asking for it. And plus, it's a pleasure for us, man. We appreciate dudes that put time and effort into yeah. their craft. And push the genre forward. There you go. Naturally, by just being just being great. You know what yeah, I mean? And these, all three of these gentlemen, Oswin, Chris Rivers, and Denzel Porter, all men have, have limitless potential, man. Yeah. I mean, we need to get to some songs, though, from them to see where they at musically. But lyrically? Yeah. That's, they got it. If, as long as you got a good lyrical foundation, man, we can work on the other shit. Absolutely. We can, we can develop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all these gentlemen have that. So um, let's get into this one, let's man. Let's do it. We did the first cipher. We didn't do the second one. But, this but the first the one was one, crazy. Right? This is the final one. The right? last cipher, I think this might be the, the last okay. one, literally. You know what I mean? So let's get into it. Uh, this is Team Backpack, the last cipher. Oswin Benjamin, Chris Rivers, and Denzel Porter. Yes, sir. World Underground. Hey. Hey. Uh. Okay. Sound like it's like a banger type of beat, you know? Uh. Mine's gonna uplift. Life too short with a temper to match, so I don't got time for the fuck. We know you afraid to get busted. You're gunning them gym like jelly. You might as well pull up with a muscle. Plus, we the best thing to come out of the X and my niggas be bugging no mess screens. We never frontin', we just like buttons. We only work when we press scenes. Some prestige. I'm settling in here like the best sheen. I only appear with the best weed. Don't give up my bed, I'm connect deep to the empire. Watch my chest beat. Now, most of your niggas are shitty. Unless you're the king of your city, I'm taking your crown. Hey, gon' come with it. I would eat it now. But Chris is a vegan, ain't giving no penis. No fuck you favorite for seasons. You see now I treat them like niggas. Some niggas put all of their cards on the table. My nigga, we know they ain't armed. They sleep and see. We just mm. see like we know the setting. These arms are mine, ain't orders ready. Mm. I'm going get them. I go and get it. If I go and get them, that's his only getting. Mm. Gotta I'm set up for those summer weather. Stop them talking jealous. Ain't this so depressing? Champion, you see me shoulder pressing. And I hold the ring like I saw the wedding. But <laughs> you seem about that life. Just touch that nigga. Yeah. Now you seem about your bread. So what's up, my nigga? <laughs> now you seem motivated, my G. Go rush that nigga. But you seem passionate, bro. Fuck that. Look, <laughs> the first where shit ain't sweet. That's your channel. When most of my homies had half life while you was at home playing Halo. Mm -hmm. I was in the with the wolves. Why do you think you can play with me? We're paying rental advisory. Most of your XP you pay to see, but when real niggas spitting, this ain't just word that is written. This is for legacy living and niggas in prison and homies that didn't make it to see Christmas. See, this is the difference between me and you. You give a factual feel, but nigga, I'm actually real. You really think you can roll? I'll put your head in a barrel attached to a wheel and push. You think you can roll? Push. Push. <laughs> okay. Push. That was a good introduction, man. The production's good. He's, he, he he definitely had the uh, energy. energy and the hype. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think this was a good introduction to this, man. I think so. You I know? think so. I think so. I love, I love the sort of chemistry that they have as well. I thought, I think really this is a good performance already. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? The Passionate MC diss. Uh, I don't know too much about that. I do know that Passionate MC is a rapper underneath. Team Backpack, or at least he, he uh, features on Team Backpack. I don't know if him and Denzel has some type of issue, it looks like. He said, fuck that nigga. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So, um, or like he ain't even worth, worth his time. He's like, man, fuck that nigga. Too. I don't know. So, so give, don't give know. us some, uh, yeah. some feedback on that, guys. But the arms line, I think you yeah, were, I saw man. you kind of like, mm, on the arms line. You know you know they ain't armed. You know what I'm saying? They, <laughs> they sleeveless. sleeveless. They sleeveless. And he said, these arms are mine. Yeah. They ain't Otis Redding. <laughs> these arms <laughs> uh Mine. Yeah, that was hard though. Meaning that one of my favorite Otis Redding songs. Yeah, right? meaning that they don't have guns. They don't have like, guns. Like, we got the heat for this you. This ain't Otis Redding. Right. <laughs> but Otis Redding made the song "These Arms of Mine," but they don't have arms as in guns. So I thought that was dope. Then he said something about Armageddon. Right? If yeah. I go and get him and it's, it's his Armageddon. It's the end of all days. Yeah, it's over. So <laughs> Life as you know it is done. <laughs> exactly. So that was hard. 
And then he said, then he uh, said the sheen line up top. Oh, yeah. say? About the hair. Yeah, he said, I'm shining in here like the best sheen. So I'm shining in, in here. Hair. I'm shining right now. Yep. But I'm shining in here like sheen, like Jericho juice. Well, you give a factual feel, but nigga, I'm yep. actually real. That's like where I was going to go, yeah. <laughs> you really think you can roll or put your head in a barrel attached to a wheel? And push your ass. <laughs> Push, push. <laughs> that was cool, man. Yeah, cool. I like got some lines in it. Solid, solid uh, verse. Like Ryan said, I like the energy in that uh, to kick everything off. So. Good introduction, That's right? Life. Good introduction because you're, they're playing to the crowd as well. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Let's, so let's looks like uh, Oz one's up next. So let's get back to it. Uh oh. You see, he like. <laughs> Some water for this. What he say? What he say about this. that God mode? He's like, I'm about to jump into God mode. Or oh, he said, I stepped mode. out of God mode and went into rap mode. mode. Yeah. But I don't know what. Yeah, what's, I never seen. <laughs> what's what? Damn, dog. Cause he seemed like he in God mode right now. A bunch of Floyd Patterson's jabbing, lacking the skill and practice to actually scrap with this Cassius Clay. Right? Look, we're not cut from the same mold. That was tough. Hard, right? That, that Muhammad Ali all play on words, but we're not cut from the same mold, right? Clay you know what I mean? Clay mold. mold. Dope. But he kind of shitted on Floyd Patterson, bro. <laughs> Y'all a bunch of Floyd Pattersons, man. Floyd Patterson. No disrespect to Floyd Patterson, but he wasn't Muhammad Ali. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? He, was, he wasn't the, the champion, the legendary Muhammad Ali. So y'all a bunch of Floyd Pattersons, man. Y'all not equal to him. Because he's toxic when he's in that in this mode right here. Yeah, man. You Crazy. Know what I'm saying? Crazy. So that was hard. But the cat the play on clay and mold was slick. We're not cash as clay, but Muhammad Ali, but clay as in, you know, you mold things with clay. Yep. Right? Then he said the truth hurts more when it's unadulterated. Facts. Yeah, that's true. That's how, how we are on this channel. That's right? true. <laughs> This is this type of child's play is adult rated. Yeah, that was hard. I've dude. been in Emerald City too long to ever be jaded. Doctor Robotnik with enough hard drive to back up any <laughs> statement. The wealth in my spirits account could back up any, any statement. statement. Yeah, that's hard, dude. He left Earth right there already. <laughs> that was hard already. You know, I really like this man because it seems like this whole scheme is like the child's play like reference, right? He's all this type of child's play is adult rated, so he's taking you into a. A, a video game because the Dr. Robotnik was uh, from Sonic, Sonic right? Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, right? He was the, he was the villain, I believe, in Sonic the Hedgehog, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Right, and I, and I believe that that uh, city was called Emerald City. Emerald City, yep. Right? It's one of the levels, right? Or something like that. It's right. been a while. It's been a while, but, but that, that's where I think he's going there, and I think that's dope because he's taking a childhood game yeah. and making a reference that this is adult rated. You know what I mean? He's all, my, my hard drive can back up any statement. You know what I'm His saying? His drive. His drive. To be the best, to be successful, right? Can back up any statement. Anything that he says, he can back it up. The wealth in my spirits account could back up any statement. So the wealth in my spirit, his enlightenment maybe, his spiritual sort of ascension mm -hmm. where he's at, um, is, 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 is worth more than any fucking bank statement, right? Yep. You know what I mean? It can back up anything. It can go against anyone with yep. any sort of, you know, bloated bank account, I think is how I'm taking it. Now, I could be reaching here. I could be reaching. When he said, I've been in Emerald City too long to ever be jaded. Now, his name is Oswin Benjamin, Emerald City, in The Wizard of Oz. The movie The Wizard of Oz is the land of Oz. So when he says I've been in Emerald City too long, I know we have the sign of the Hedgehog, but maybe that's a double entendre. That could be. That could be. That'd be, that'd be hard. I didn't, I, I didn't think about that, but that's true. I was supposed to be. take credit for it, even even. Yeah, if it's yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. Yep. But I mean, I could be reaching, but I think when he says I've been in Emerald City, Land of Oz is uh, yep. another name from Emerald City in the movie Wizard of Oz. And then Jade is the color, it's color green, green. Right? Isn't it? Emerald yep. and Jade are green. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Playing on Emerald City, which was green. Um, so maybe he's saying I've just been. Myself, I've been at home with yep. who I am too long to ever be jaded, to ever yep. be influenced by, you know, outside influences that kind of make yep. me jaded. Mm -hmm. So again, that could be a reach. I think it's definitely more in line with what Ryan was saying that Dr. Robotnik signed the Hedgehog, but maybe it's also a double entendre with We're him being Oz when Benjamin, the land of Oz in Emerald City. Who knows? So crazy already, man. <laughs> already losing my voice and shit. I'm telling you, boy. Let's keep it going. The wealth of my spirits account back if any statement. Some of soul on a typo. I can fuck around and find a new balance between checking niggas and energy worth saving. Mm -hmm. I'm amazing. I'm waiting on some dreadful to come test the patience. I see haze in they brainwaves. Y'all basic. Better for be on board. He's he's full of horror. Y'all are horrible bulls. Stand next to me and we still won't be a chaser. Friday 13th is every day for me. Woo! 
metaphors be on Voorhees. He's full of horror. Y'all horrible. Stand next to me. You still won't be adjacent. Friday the 13th is every day for me. That tough. <laughs> metaphors Whoa. be on Voorhees. So he's referencing Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th yeah. He's full of horror. Y'all horrible. Stand next to me and we still won't be adjacent. Adjacent. Jason Voorhees adjacent, mm -hmm. which adjacent means next to. But it's saying Jason Voorhees. It's a reference there. Every day is Friday the 13th. I'm killing y'all niggas every day. Every day. day. Every day. I'm a killer. <laughs> Every day is Friday the 13th. I'm a lyrical killer, right? Yep. I'm slaughtering Mike, slaughtering the competition. Every day is Friday the 13th Woo. for me. So that, that Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees reference was fire right yeah. there. God damn. Let's keep it going. Patience. I see haze in they brainwaves. Y'all basic. Better for me on Voorhees. He's full of horror. Y'all are horrible bulls. Stand next to me and we still won't be adjacent. Friday the 13th is every day for me. Boogie men on the boogie balls. Get up. We ain't in the same league. It's like I let my little cousin get a bucket in 21. This ain't a real game to me. So stop playing before I suit up. A lot of thumbs down for you clowns like in that it factor. Sunny guys, Della Mayo, food up. That was tough, man. That was tough. Vern Troyer was the uh, the little person in Austin Power. Mm -hmm. So little nigga, but little person. Right. But you a little bit, you know what I'm saying, compared right. to him. He said, it's like I let my little cousin get a bucket in 21. This ain't a real game. Bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's no competition. It's not even a game. It's mm -hmm. like me playing my little cousin. You're a little, you're a little dude that can't score. I'm just letting you win. I'm yep. letting you score. Exactly. Um, he said, a lot of thumbs down for you clowns lacking that it factor. Yep. The clown it. it you know what I'm movie. saying? The clown it from the movie. Funny guys, LMAO booed up. That was tough. <laughs> funny. So he said funny guys, LMA, but also LMAO booed up. LMA made the song booed up, mm -hmm. which is crazy, but you also get booed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the crowd's booing at you, but booed up LMA. <laughs> <That's Yep, crazy. laughs> yep. Laughing my ass off. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> But Ella May, the singer Ella May. Yeah. We can't we can't break every line. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy. This is crazy. We're only at three minutes and twenty-three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it going. This is a small problem. Poor day trying. Give it up the name. You gon' die trying. All you yeah, mini yeah, men put your death on me. Yeah, yeah this dude. Yeah. <laughs> so many men. He said many men. Uh, get rich or die trying. Many men. He said poor thing trying to get rich off the name. Yeah. You gon' die, die trying. trying. Trying to get rich off his name, right? Yep. You gon' die trying because it's not gonna happen. All of you mini men wishing death on me, which is again 50 Cent. Yep. Another song on Get Rich or Die Trying. Even hey. before that, he said to Ludacris, why would you pro uh, add propane to a flame full of uh, pain in it? That boy then chopped and screwed mm -hmm. up. Ludacris had the song chopped and screwed with T Pain. With T Pain. You know, it's just full a lot. Pain. Full yep. of pain. Yeah, it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. Full of pain, T Pain. Yep. It's mm -hmm. just a lot. He's going in. Poor day trying, give it up the name, you gon' die trying. All you mini men with your death on me. Rest the sword, you gon' mirror. Then the lines of run Troy. Little nigga. I'm the top of an act because I am Dewey Newman. I'm just as much Gandhi as I am Malcolm X. I'ma get my point across by any means, and no defense can stop me from crossing that line. That was tough. I check mics like be in line, get your ass tapped. Try to check mine. I don't wanna hear none. Not from you, Mother Teresa. How you wait till the mic is down? Is Snap. Annoying me. He's yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to like get through it, but it's like, nah. Saying, you're kind of annoying me. You're going so hard. God <laughs> damn. I'm going to get my point across by any means, and no defense can stop me from crossing that line. That was fire. That was hard, man. That was hard. So <laughs> I'm taking it. First of all, he said, by any means, Malcolm X. So, by any means. By any means necessary, <laughs> Malcolm X. But by any means, he's going to get his point across. So he could be talking about a point guard in basketball getting, getting his point across that line. No defense can stop him from getting across that line, um, which I think is cool if that's a basketball reference. Yeah, I think it could go football too, right? Because you, you get your point across, right, when you cross, cross the line. line. The defense is trying to keep you from the end zone. That too. You know what I mean? That too. Either way, sports, sports point across. That's but I'm going to get my going. point across no matter no matter who stands in my way, that's basically right. what it's like. No one can stop him from telling his truth is how I'm doing it, how I'm taking that. He said, I check mics like BMI. <laughs> get your ass cap trying to take mine. That was tough Ooh. right there. Ass cap, so just, that's that's a, a, a royalty reference, right? That mm -hmm. those are the the entities that are responsible for artists for receiving their mm -hmm. royalties. You know what I mean? From the record label. But he's so like, you get your ass cap with a gun, though. Trying yeah. to take his, trying right. to take his his royalty whatever. money. Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? So that was fire. 
Um, crazy man. Can't do it no more cyphers. No more smoke with this killer. Got the ball all you want. No, I've been kung lao. Mm. I have to reach my cap. Mm. I'm castrating the Lavar roll for niggas. This girl roll got fire on for you, Diva. So Yo, this I'm dude. Stop! <laughs> you can ball all you want. No, I've been kung. I've been kung lao. <laughs> if I ever reach my cap. <laughs> Kung, Yao, Kung Lao uses Kung Lao's a character in Mortal Kombat. He uses his cap, his hat to slice motherfuckers, right? Uh, I'm castrating the Lavar off of niggas. The ball. Lavar ball. Yep. <laughs> I'll castrate you when you get castrated. You, 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 your balls get chopped off. But yep. Lavar Ball, who is the, the father of Lonzo Ball and all those yep. dudes, his last name is Ball, right? I'm castrating your balls, is what he's saying. This girl got fire arms for you divas. Tough. Yeah. Now, like Mortal Kombat character Goro had a whole bunch of arms. He's got fire he arms. Fire, right? Out of his arms. Something so. like that. Something I think like that. So. Yeah. It's been a little while. Yeah. But fire arms as in guns as well. Right, so. right. Just just <sighs> metaphor after metaphor, punchline of just <laughs> not so sorry, I got out of character. Yeah. <laughs> out of character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. This <laughs> Goro got fire arms for you, Diva. Sorry. I got out of character. I'm on an unlockable type of black. I'm blacking out for every night. They said we was too black to see it. When I hated light skin niggas for leaving pretty women broken, but it's hustle made to pick up the pieces. Backing out for every nap, I converted into a wave. Backing out for every nap, pop took them sits on the grave. Backing out for every drop of race act to slow on my palms through the bird man hand rub. Don't respect on my name. Just be backing out for every day. I hated my shame. I'm taking the wrong way, I'll explain. But even at my lows, my foes look up to the soles of my feet. So stop trying to throw stones at God. It won't reach. Mm. Stop trying to throw stones at God. It won't reach. It yeah. won't reach, man. This is four, <laughs> four minutes and 32 seconds, man. Godly. This is a lot. I love the whole blacking out scheme that he had at the end, man, but he's, he's going in, dude. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? That was such a dense verse, and we didn't even touch everything that he said in there. Let's keep it going. I'm still better than you, guys. I'm better than you. <laughs> no way you better than me, my nigga. Did you hear that shit? Yeah. I think I'm better than you, bro. First of all, I'm better than everybody. Got my trying to push the piece of the dolly. Something like Benjamin's. Keep it 100. Get it, them peddling, melanin. Let's embellish and they're saying niggas better than Chris. Right, before, before we let him rock it up him. <laughs> just how he came in. He just already reminds me of Pun. I'm he's, better than everybody. He's more more than doing his father's legacy justice, man. He should be proud of himself, man. I really I really like Chris Rivers. And I just love the, how they have the energy, man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They're, they're keeping the crowd engaged. And even the competitive though this, energy, too. You yep, know what I'm saying? Even though this is a, a cypher, you know what I mean? They're still playing to the crowd. Mm -hmm. That's important. Dope, man. First of all, I'm better than everybody. Got hobbies while they trying to push the piece to the dolly. Something like Benjamin's. Keep it 100. Dead at them better than melon and less embellish and they're saying niggas better than Chris. Who ain't that a veteran? Presence takes precedence. So it's Kanye got Trump by questions about president. Yes. Flip lines. I'm the best in my city. Still wise. Trying to burn bridges with trolls on them like six nine. <laughs> Shout out to Trey Wood. Got three slates and levels of drip. You see me coming like the head of my dick. My like niggas sweating like a vessel. I think y'all scared. You can hop behind my bars when he sets his hip. I'm from the cross bars where the intersections merge, where the killing sex and birds. Niggas sex and herb, and they still neglect our work. Yeah, yeah. I know niggas who know niggas who know niggas who blow figures, but I'm not a threat. Third body connects, third body projects. It's worth godly possession. First mommy was heaven, work probably defected. First hobby was stressing, learn how to be present. Turn that to a weapon, burn that Smith and Wesson. My life is a blessing, work shatters depression. Heard that like I'm shoving up. Live with a toe, niggas is picking a snow. I'm a wolf when I proof, knock your roof and your back off down. Cause a nigga did blow. Most of these rappers are sound a little bit though. I'm never switching my flow. I'm never giving my soul. Niggas is low. They got a test of their toe. Don't you even fucking mention my name unless you got hands versus land searches, playing versus in your zone. Shit to induce the black out like a clan person. I've been the nicest by magnanimous levels. I fucking rock while y'all just grasping at pebbles. Niggas surface, I'm deeper than devils grabbing the shovel. Digging till he's cracking the metal. That niggas is marked. Sun like the path of a freckle, a spectacle to you speckles, huh? Yo, Ozzy, yeah. good porter. Yo. Didn't we challenge these niggas in order to bring this order to the typical ways of things? And it ended up being a slaughter, cause no one responded besides some sly comments. And in the calmness of this conscience, we was like, fuck it. Why don't I challenge my brothers? I'd rather damage my brothers than challenge these average advocates to letting savages hunt them. And every time they chuck the shot, right where we stand and we muff them. of them is like fucking bitches with rubbers. It's okay. I'm busting shots and I still feel protected. And then we did this just to 
further than disrespect to put our foots down so yeah the thrill of them is like fucking bitches with rubbers it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm busting shots and i still feel protected that was hard <laughs> that was hard I like that. I like that line. That was a cool line, but it, it was funny more than, than anything to me. So you know I, guess, I guess what he's saying in this is that no one, no one was. Uh, they put out a challenge and no one accepted the challenge. And I think that that's. I think I remember that. <laughs> like I'm shooting shots over the bow, right? Like, yeah. come on, you gonna come? I still feel protected though. Yeah. Like they're, they're not a threat. I, yep. I think is what he's saying. But I, just out of curiosity, um, give us some in, uh, enlighten us on that. I mean, they put out a challenge, I guess, and no one um, reciprocated the challenge. I guess I don't know, but. I like how he said that. Though. Right. That was slick. That was slick. It's just crazy how much he sounds like his dad. You can tell he really studied his dad. Yeah, big time, man. You know, um, he wanted to do his dad justice. And like flow said, was crazy his too. His flow was crazy. Yeah. Weaving in and out of flows. He had bars. They're all killing us, man. Let's keep it rocking. Put up them, it's like fucking bitches with rubbers. It's okay. I'm busting shots and I still feel protected. And then we did this just to find the disrespect. I put our foots down and cut the dead and murder these niggas next. I would say pause, but it's basically a face. Oh, just hear me out. Next. They on their knees when they face us. Oh, right? They tearing up, not even seas will replace us. Oh. They swallow pride and in defeat they can taste us. And then we speak because it's easy to taste us. So spit it out. Spit it out. I, mm -hmm. out. <laughs> I said what I said, no more cyphers, fuck it, I'm switching routes. Got bigger issues than these niggas I can live without. Right? But more on that later. Yo, Ozzy. Yeah. You seem kind of distraught, bro. You got something you want to talk about? When do I start? There's so much shit to say. I'm using Velcro, trying to stick to faith, living life with the missing breaks. Get a pack, flip that, and bring it back like I'm missing takes. No plan, just a mission, no Thanos to make this vision break. I always speak my drive, but it's so miss your lane. Me as you done miss your lane. Now it's you turn and your GPS signal is signaling do right, but you done left yourself. How you jump out the window trying to catch yourself? How you gonna beat the odds if you don't bet yourself? Stay calm and expect this hell. Don't wait too alarmed that you ain't set yourself. What am I here for? Feel like a scarecrow on this sanity. <laughs> that was hard. Godly. This is what I like right here. Substance talking. So it's like Denzel started this verse off by saying, living life um, with the missing brakes. If you don't have brakes, what happens? You can't stop. Out of control. Right? So he's out of control. He's living fast, right? He can't, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what direction he's going, it seems like. And specifically, he said, no plan, just a mission. So you know what you want to do, but you don't know how to, get, how there. to get there. You know yep. what I mean? No Thanos could make this vision break. Dope, man. That was Dope. A fire Avengers line. reference, right? Thanos freaking took the damn Infinity Stone out of Vision's <laughs> head, which killed him, right? But he's all, I'm so laser focused, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That nothing can make this vision break. But yet I'm out of control. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he said, always speak about drive, but it's so miscellaneous, miscellaneous. I think he's saying Michelin tires drive. Yep. You know, that's the sort of word he missed your lane. He missed his lane. Yep. You done missed your lane. Now it's U-turn and your GPS signal is signaling you to do right, but you done left yourself. <laughs> that was hard. It's your turn. It's U-turn, right? It's your right. turn. He was all, but your GPS, your compass, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you also have to make a U-turn. Yeah, exactly. You missed your lane. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so again, kind of playing into him not having much direction. He's yep. missed his lane. Maybe he is a path that he was supposed to take, but not knowing where to go, he just took the wrong path. Now he has to kind of Backtrack. Loop back. He's got a backtrack. Loop yep. back. So U-turn yep. and your GPS signal was signaling you to do right. Which is like your compass is like telling you to do right. But you didn't left yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Left yourself. Let's also play on right versus left. Left yep. yourself. Right? So fire. How you gonna jump out the window trying to catch yourself? Do right? It. It's almost like self-sabotage. Correct. He's trying to kind of get his bearings Minimize and, and get back on the right yep. track. But yep. he's jumping out the window and doing so, right? Yep. So he's out of control. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So really, really dope riding. Love right that, there, man. man. That, Love was, that. that was excellent. Shout out to Denzel, man. Let's keep going. How you gonna beat the odds if you don't bet yourself? Stay calm and expect this hell. And don't wait too alarmed that you ain't set yourself. Mm. What am I'm I here for? Feel like a scarecrow on this sanity search. I want some more, my nigga hand me a hurt. She wanna drip like this is can of be work. I'm trying to bubble big like manity first. Manity first, but sit around cause I can't stand to be hurt. And mm. fill it up till I'm filling up. I got no hands in these shirts. Fighting the clock like do these hands even work? Mm. I think it's time that we face the function. Hands we tired of thinking about some sensitive thuggy hugs just when trying to Embrace the culture, trying to face my demons, my sinus can't take the sofa, still trying to make the team, although I didn't make the cut, but I'm bruising, I'm just enough by the half, I'll be chucking jumpers, I'm cut from a different cause, which I had a tailor that shrunk with the cat, that had 
the summer. Yeah. Yeah, he's snapping. He is really snapping on this. So he's saying, I'm trying to face my demons. My sinus can't take the sulfur. Still trying to make the team, although I didn't make the cut. I'm bruising him just enough. So I don't know what he's exactly, exactly what he's trying to say. I'm just kind of trying to put this in perspective of right. what he's saying. Um, in here, I think in here he's saying he's directionless. He has a mission. He knows what his goal is, but he seems to be directionless. He seems to be also be out right. of control as well. So when he says still trying to make the team, I think he means make the team like make it in rap and make it in hip hop. He didn't make the cut, so he's still not. He didn't but he's make, just there, right? He's bruising, he's just, bruising enough. just enough. So right. he's staying above water in in hip hop, but he didn't quite make the cut to the next level. I think is what he's saying. He so said now, by the half I'll be. Ch chugging jumpers. So he's yeah. got to catch up. Yeah, so it's a basketball type of reference there mm -hmm. as well. Chugging jumpers. Yep. So he's trying to catch up, right? He's shooting jumpers, maybe shooting threes to try to catch up because he's behind, right? Yep. Um, I'm in, cut in, from a different cloth. Game. Right. I'm cut from a different cloth. I wish I had a tailor that shumpered. So I'm guessing that he's talking about uh, Iman Shumper. Iman, yeah, from uh, I don't know who he plays, but now Sacramento. A tailor could be another word for a mentor, right? Mm -hmm. To teach you the game and, yeah. and really kind of get you uh, to the next level. Which I think um, why he said that Shumper. To tailor, to tailor maybe, him. Maybe Shumper had raw talent, but he needed a tailor. Right. You know, I like that. I like, I like that. that. Obviously, he's just talking about some of the setbacks he's had as a rapper is what it seems like. And he's also talking about some personal things that he's been going through with, um, you know, just being directionless and also losing friends. He said he lost three homies. So, you know, just, it looks like he's just pouring his pouring yep. his hot out talking about his life, man. So let's keep it rocking. But I'm bruising. I'm just enough by the half. I'll be chucking up with a punch from a different cause, which I had a tailor that trumped with this hat that had claimed he jumped them, came back, had a dump the dump, I used to laugh. But I done lost three homies, and it's just this summer. I already missed sitting on the steps with Prince. Him, my homie, story telling him that port is better when I envision them with feather wings, golden crowns, and letterments. Surrounded by better things like freaky girls with wedding rings. You feel me? I know they watch me as I work the handles. I know they ask them why I drink chances like birthday candles. I know they stress when I miss the best. And vex when I miss my blessings. Some yep. don't judge ignorance. Some go to work with gavels. And my dog Sarge think I'm talented. But disregard the challenges. And ain't all for the job because he thought I couldn't manage it. Well, a part of me agrees. But see, my daughter's got to eat. I know my cup is running full. I see each part of it that leaks. Mm. Fuck a minute, take a while. Fuck some inches, take a mile. Because 12 ain't enough. You see, that's partially defeat. Just just a foot inside the door to beg your pardon, let me speak. No, my mental's kind of strong, but other parts of me is weak. Put this heart up in these streets, I put my heart up in these beats. Put some garbage, make an artist sick and farther, cause he screams. Just imagine a young fraction going hard until he bleeds. Six, Just to have somebody <laughs> average coming hard to place. He's when almost every chick you dated only came with hope you make it. Close your face, she in the matrix, getting naked. Put some other nigga or back when immigration at my place to come and take the closest thing to motivation in my face. I miss my. Brother, they out of like Hold on, yeah, yeah, we gotta touch on some stuff. Yeah, man, man. you like that candle line up there, right? Yeah, man. Tough, man, I love that because it's true. He said, I treat uh, chances like uh, birthday candles, right? Because they, you gotta blow them out, right? You can't squander opportunities, man. And I think that that's really um, what he was really saying through, through through this whole verse. I think he's like, man, you know, I I, I lack so much direction in my plan, but. I cannot squander this opportunity. He can't keep fucking up. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really. He said his saying. dog. He said, "And my dog Sarge thinks I'm talented, but but disregard challenges." His friends, right. right? His friends or family. I'm not too sure who Sarge is to him. They're mad at him, right? They're right. vexed. You know what I mean? When he misses his blessings, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Playing into what what Ryan was just saying, yep. man. And then he's also talking about his frustration um, in hip hop. You know, he specifically said just to have somebody average come and hog his place, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. An average rapper that isn't really talented, but yep. maybe the marketing is a certain way. Maybe they have a gimmick that the industry seems to be following along with. So it frustrates him. And he's also got women. He's, he's talking about a lot here. He's talking about women, right? When, when almost every chick you dated only came up with you um, in hopes that you'll make it. They only dated you with yep. hopes that you would blow up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a lot. That's and true. He was telling his life story in his yeah, life. Like, really, exactly. some, some low-key shit, you know? I know my cup is running full. I see each part of it that leaks. Fuck a minute, take a while. Fuck some inches, take, take a, a mile. mile. That was dope. <laughs> because 12 ain't enough. You see, that's particularly defeat. Mm -hmm. Just a foot inside the door to beg your pardon. Let me speak. That was tough. Defeat. A foot. <laughs> a foot. Twelve yeah. inches, right? Twelve ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? So no, my mental's kind of strong when other parts of me is weak. It seems like he's dwelling on a negative as well, right? Yep. You know what I'm saying? You see the parts that leak. He sees the holes, but he's not. He's not focusing on the bigger picture. The blessings, yeah. Right. You know, so a lot, a lot in there from yeah, Denzel, man. Really, really dope verse. 
Uh, looks like Chris is about to get off too, so let's let's keep it rocking. Oh, back when immigration down my face, to come and take the closest brother. thing to motivation in my face. I miss my Gotta brother, nigga. Out of me. Transmutated like alchemy. A golden tongue that translated this child's speak. Silver lines, copper coins. I paid for thoughts that transported this out of tree. Oh, okay, peace, look. peace, <laughs> peace. Y'all need to rap like this. This last verse, this last <laughs> set of verses, y'all need to rap like this every verse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You know what I mean? I like the rapping for the sake of rapping. I like the barred up shit, but fuck all that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like when y'all making music, every song needs yep. to be like this. Yep. And y'all will make classic albums. It I, will be undeniable. I agree with you. Every song you need to pour yep. your heart out and give us the real you, man. Let's keep it rocking. A golden tongue that translated this child speak Silver lines, copper coins that paid for thoughts that transported this olive tree So peace, mm. peace, peace Broke and down transmission ain't revving I run DMC that's always flexing the puns Pun intended, chosen one time Damn. to send it Just to have a sentence Cause I hide behind these bars When drop responses needed question take a wow. shot Relax My Nori voice, you gotta relax He said gotta get this thing out of me Transmutative like alchemy, a golden tongue that translated this child's speech, silver lines, copper coins that paid for thoughts that transported this olive tree. Maybe he's extending an olive branch. You know what I mean? I think that's what he's saying by transported this olive tree thoughts. So he's, he's almost look, looking like he's ready to just get this right. monkey off his back. He wants to get these demons um, that have been holding him back out, out of him is what I'm, how I'm translating that. Then he said transmutative like alchemy. I know an alchemy it's kind of like um almost like when you turn you turn like metals into gold to or, gold or, or something, something like, like that, that right so maybe that's what he's saying that his gold tongue you know what i'm saying translates mm -hmm. out of what he's speaking the, the the lyrics that's coming out of his mouth is golden yep it's, it's, it's trans it's transforming into, into gold. gold right but he's also saying silver line so it's almost like he's trying to see the silver lining Lightning. yep you know what i mean copper coins that pay for thoughts that transported this olive tree so maybe he's extending an olive branch like i said mm -hmm. um and expressing himself but that was so beautifully peace. Peace. beautifully yep. yeah beautifully mm -hmm. written um already and then mm -hmm. he said uh transmission ain't revving i run DMC that's always flexing the puns, pun intended. Are you crazy? <laughs> Triple entendres extended just to have a sentence because I hide behind that these bars. bars. <laughs> yeah, that, was hard. that was disgusting. So first, he's got the Run DMC reference, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and transmission his ain't revving. Yep. Reverend Run, Run mm -hmm. DMC, the MC, him the MC, talking yep. about himself, DMC, but Run DMC, Reverend Run. Yep. That's always flexing the puns. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> right. Pun intended. It's a, it's a it's pun intended because he's he's a big pun son. Yep. But he's flexing these puns. Triple entendres extended just to have a sentence because I hide behind, behind these bars. bars. So Jesus Christ. He's trying to get this monkey off his back, man. He's he's trying to kind of release these demons. Is how I'm taking it so far. And he's, and he's hiding, hiding behind his behind artwork. his artwork. He's hiding yep. behind his rapping. But these bars, when he says sentence. Right, you hide behind bars. If you have, a, if you get a jail sentence, you're behind bars. bars yep. So it's a lot in here, man. Beautiful so far, though. DMC, that's all these flex in the puns. Pun intended, trip on long time, just extended. Just to have a just sentence. A time, Cause man. I hide behind these bars. When drop responses need a question, take a shot. I dare you take a shot at being transparent. I ain't have a mom or dad specifically like transparents. Just a chemical imbalance that's seated on the edge of madness and self inflicted damage. So I try both. And I ain't never try hope and struggle with the tight rope around the ceiling fan. Feeling, try to kill myself, try to hang myself, my sin is in. See, my dad raised me to be the only boy to protect everybody while being a direct reason why I couldn't protect anybody. The self inflicted, conflicted feelings of feeling like you gotta kill your dad to protect your mother while not protecting her feelings really passed to me. Feel ready for consideration. Wow, man. This I love heavy. this pocket, man. I love this pocket this because is it, heavy. this is hard to talk about. And, and even w without it being in a in a song format, this would be hard to talk about. You know what I mean? Heavy stuff. You said, dare you take a shot at being transparent. I ain't have a mom or dad specifically like transparents. Just a chemical imbalance that's teetered on the edge of madness, madness. or self-inflicted damage. So, so I, I try, try both. both. So when he says, uh, so I try both, how I'm taking that is he's flirting with um, almost like madness, right? He's going crazy and he's also damaging him himself yep. is what it seems like. Um, and he said, I ain't never try hope, just struggle with the tightrope. And it looks like he started breaking down around the ceiling. It looks like he's trying to kill himself, right? Yep. 
Yeah. And I love this because uh, he started this all with saying he's going he's gonna to take a shot at trying to be transparent. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> and really start to, to peel back this onion and, and really be vulnerable, right? Yeah. With the chemical imbalance. And he also said, exactly, my bad to interrupt you. He also said, I got to get this thing out of me. Yeah. Right? Like, I have to release this burden as yep. well. Yeah. Yeah. Because say? it's a monkey on your back. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? The person that you're hurting is, is yourself. Yep. And then that's kind of when he went into uh, this pocket. He's all, my dad raised me to be the only boy to protect everybody while being the direct reason why I couldn't protect anybody, which I thought was interesting. Then he said, then self-inflicted conflicted feelings of feeling like you got to kill your dad to protect your mom while not protecting her feelings really got that to me. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's a lot to say, too. That was very dense. <laughs> very so, dense. And, um, I, you know, I'll take, do I dare to kind of try to define this man um i feel like only chris really knows I just, yeah i don't know man um well you know you know that big pun died when he was young right right, right. that's what we do know um i don't know exactly how old he was, how, how old he was specifically but i know that he was young young i don't even think he was an adolescent when his right. father died so he said my dad raised me to to be the only boy to protect everybody while being a direct reason why i couldn't protect anyone so i don't know if his dad's early departure from life made him feel like he was um, that he had to be like the protector, the protector and take the, care of the family and the and man it, of the household when he wasn't ready to be that and maybe he felt like yeah Maybe he felt like he left too soon. Yeah, then he said the self-inflicted conflicted feelings of feeling like you got to kill your dad To protect your mother while protecting her feelings. Dude. So when he says kill your dad is he saying almost like Kill the memory of his dad take his dad's place being you know um, step in his dad's shoes but also would that in turn hurt his mother? Right. By sort of almost tr maybe trying to do away with the memory of his dad? Is that what he's saying? He could, just, and I don't know. That's that's the We don't know. <laughs> We're just trying to, to get an idea of what he where he's going with but it. But one thing I love about what he said is the self-inflicted, conflicted feelings. Mm -hmm. Right? Because at the end of the day, he's he's putting it on himself. Mm -hmm. It's not something that was was left for him to be conflicted with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He, Absolutely. He's doing it to himself. And I love that because it's so interesting. It's deep too. You know, it's deep because he feels like the reason why it's self-inflicted is, is because he felt that the pressure, right? He felt right. that it, it almost it almost felt obligated to be this person when he wasn't ready to be this right. person, the man of the house to take care of his family. Is what it sounds like. So, wow. Yeah, crazy. Let's keep it going. Children for considering committing this atrocity by feeling like my sister moms ain't have to hurt if not for me being so weak and worthless and my dad's a thief and hearses and I just can see the hurting now I gotta be this person to provide for them you know to protect saying? and die for them but I'm six and never learn how to be Chris or even try for them I'm fearful of the size of them the demons that reside in them and traumatizing clips that clip my wings before I fly yeah they snap this is incredible feel. Yeah, Incredible. Shout out to Chris, man. He's going in. I think he's kind of maybe reinforcing what we were saying. Yeah. I, I could be wrong. A little bit. Um, he's saying guilt written from, from even considering committing this atrocity, Classic. considering killing himself. Yeah. While feeling like my sis and mom ain't have to hurt if not for me being so weak and worthless and my dad's deceased in hearses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So just trying to fulfill yeah. this role of the man of the household and, and, and the protector of his family, mm -hmm. he doesn't feel like he was able to, to maybe measure up to that. Yep. Especially considering his dad exactly. was big pun, right? He was the ultimate provider for the family. He was rich and, and when he was alive, I'm sure they were doing very well. Right, right, but exactly. But from what I've gotten from Chris and this is even in interviews in the past, it just seems like after big pun died, the money wasn't really handled right. mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason. I don't know the details of that. And as a result, they were sort of destitute. Right. Right. So there's that. Right. There's that. A, I'm trying to live up to, to not only my father, but big pun. Yeah. And be the provider. So he yep. felt weak. Right. Weak and worthless specifically is what he said. And I, and, and I agree with that. And I think what he's saying here, too, is because he tried to kill himself, now he's hurting his family even more. Mm -hmm. Like you were, you were supposed to take care of them and, and look out for them. But I even if it if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't even be hurting. Mm -hmm. And then my dad died on top of it, and I tried to kill myself. It just kind of magnifies everything. Right. And when you're that young, man, I mean, it's it's hard to internalize all of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to figure out. It's hard to figure that out. And he said, now I'll just concede to hurting, and now I gotta be this person. So he's again, he's confirming it. It seems mm -hmm. like to provide for them, to, to protect and die for them. And I'm six and never learned how to be Chris. So he yep. never even learned how to be himself. Yep. He was so too busy trying to fulfill this role that he felt that uh, he was obligated to fulfill, right? Yep. As being this provider and protector, right? Then he's talking about his demons. I'm fearful of the size of them, the demons that reside right. in him. Mm -hmm. And traumatizing clips that clip my wings before I, I fly, fly for them. them. So he couldn't, he couldn't spread his wings, he couldn't fly. 
and be the person that he always wanted to be because of these demons holding him back. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just a lot in here, dude. We can keep going, but crazy man. Let's keep it going. He's crushing this shit, though. Yeah, he is. I'm traumatizing clips that clip my wings before I fly for them. And they make me feel wrong just to talk about it. When it took me this long just to talk about it. Because my dad was a legend. That doesn't mean I'm a human. Because this mass is a lesson. That doesn't mean it's abusive. Because I'm all in your mentions. That doesn't mean it's intrusive. And I grew up a fucking screw up with business dude from the way that they viewed us. Mm. Feeling blue, so got booed up with bitches that was only with me in case a chance that I blew up. And I yep. It. As a neglected kid, I never did love myself. They told me to be flexible. It's how they teach you to fuck yourself. And I know I'm incredible, but I never learned how to trust myself. And I know I hold back a lot, but I never learned how to hug myself. Yeah, that's I hard, dude. I'm defined by my past or my inability to act because of fears of the future. And I know when I'm looking back at this God. moment, I should have known I was chosen. The path was frozen. That's what made me much cooler. And I'm a doula. Sure, sure, sure. This ain't about you right now. It's about my man right here. Yeah, that, that was incredible. Yeah, it was, dude. I know I hold back a lot, but I never learned how to hug myself. Hold back a lot, right? So when you hold your back, when you're hugging yep. yourself, you're holding your back specifically, yep. right? And I think that's what he's saying. But when he, he held back a lot, he had all this these demons in him, you know what I mean? So he held back a lot. I thought right. that was super that dope. Was, he said they told me to be flexible. That's how they teach you to fuck yourself. That's funny. Mm. I, I know where he's going with that line. Yeah, but you know what? In terms of flexibility. But I think what he's saying specifically is he's they tell him to compromise, yep. right? To compromise maybe um, his art. Maybe he's now talking about his career. Mm -hmm. Be flexible be in terms flexible. of the type of music you make to appeal. Time is gonna audience. come. Your right. time's gonna come. Just be but flexible. But yourself. Exactly. Right? Yep. You know what I mean? Because now you're not you're not staying true to who you are, and you're compromising your art, which will ultimately, I think, lead to your 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 career being stagnant because you don't believe in what you're doing. Absolutely. But we could touch on other things, yeah, man. But crazy, awesome, man. Looks like it's getting into Oswald. I don't think I can handle it. Bro. I know. I'm telling you, Jesus. Look. Any nigga with skin dark as sin considered an orphan. Mm. His hand against heaven considered deep sleep in the coffin. Head cost as a college credit. My lips like Kylie with the college in it. And self hatred has been exhibited, isn't it? Magnificent how we focus more on the frivolous. You two for being collisionous. Ridiculous. I don't get intimate with none of those black boys. Both sentences have been infamous. Subjected to these thoughts without a syllabus. Associated acts with black skin is villainous. I lack that privilege. Been taught to hate my shade before the day that I got into it. Yeah, dude. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. No, no, no. But y'all want to hear multi syllables, though. Y'all want to hear that corny shit. Y'all yeah, yeah. don't want to hear real lyricism. This is some other shit right here. Been other taught shit. to hate my shade before the day I got into it. I can relate a lot to that statement, man. Seriously. You know what I mean? Myself, um, coming up, man, my, everyone in my family has been lighter than me. And even though my family never like treated me like I was less than, it's just little statements that you would hear here and there. Because I, I love that statement when he said that. He's like, I lack the, bra the, uh, the black privilege. You know what I mean? It's like everyone talks about this black privilege. He's like, dude, I, I was... I was taught to hate my skin the day I was put, before I was even knew anything about that. What he's saying and how he's saying it, it seems like it comes from a real oh, place. Oh, you know it does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it really everything, does. Everything, everything that all these fellas are saying in his last, last verse or this last song here, um, is it, you can tell that these, they're all releasing their demons. Right. I think that's the theme of this, right? They're all um, being transparent and vulnerable. Yep. And really touching on things that's may have, that may have held them back. And you can tell that he's dealt with a lot of pain and maybe trauma from um, maybe being looked at a certain way because of the, the color of his skin. You which know, is crazy. His dark skin, which is crazy, even within the black community, right? I mean, he said, any nigga with skin dark as sin is considered an orphan. Miss Hannigan's had me considered deep sleep in a coffin, so that's an Annie reference. Yeah, because she didn't like kids to begin with. At all. And he's a dark skinned kid, yeah. so you might as well have been dead. Right, right. Crazy. But essentially, he's saying he's an orphan, right? Um, which is what Annie was in the in the in the play or the movie Annie. She right. was an orphan. Miss Hannigan's was the person that yeah. ran the orphanage, and she fucking hated kids like Ryan was alluding to. Crazy hair coarse as a college credit. Coarse hair. Yeah, coarse, college coarse. Co college coarse, right? Mm -hmm. My lips. This was hard right here. My lips like Kylie with the collagen in it, and self hatred has been exhibited. Isn't it magnificent how we focus more on the frivolous? You cute for being collagenous? Ridiculous. Yeah. That. 
was crazy. So you look good for being a dark skinned dude. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you cute for a dark skinned dude, exactly. or a dark skinned girl, or whatever the case may be, which I think is extremely ignorant. Yep. And when he says magnificent, isn't re isn't it ridiculous how we focus on the superficial, yep. not the character, not not the person inside, mm -hmm. but we focus on on, yep. on the exterior. Ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? But the Kylie Jenner collagen, the whole she, play on she that, yeah. Use collagen to make her lips it's bigger. Bigger, yep. Then he even kind of quoted someone. I don't get intimate with none of them. Black, those black boys, both sentences have been infamous. infamous. If, if you are from the black community, I mean, you've seen this, you've heard this, that ignorant shit. You've heard that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, man. You've heard it. You've heard you know. it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, you know, she looks good for a dark skinned girl, or I don't fuck with this and that, and it's mm -hmm. just poisonous, man. Ignorance. It, it's just ignorance, man. Because at, at the end of the day, um, self -hate. What, what are you comparing it to? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you comparing it and to? And then he went there. He said associated acts with black skin is villainous. I lack that privilege. Black skin is villainous. Everything yeah. black. Everything associated with black seems to be negative, right? Yep. In life, in, in general, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Been taught to hate my shade, like Ryan touched on, which is an incredible line. Been yep. taught to hate my shade before the day I got into it. All hell the Hemingsworths. And chastised the Chadwick's uh, Bossmans, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's talking about Chris, Chris Hemingsworth, Hemingsworth yeah. from um, Thor, which, you know, he has blonde hair, blue eyes, which yeah. is a standard of beauty. But chastised the Chadwick Bossmans. I didn't know that Chadwick Bossman got chastised. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought Chadwick Bossman was doing all right, yeah. right, you know what I'm saying? But I get his point. Right, right. I get his point, right? Yeah. The dudes that are darker skinned, you know, uh, black dudes darker yeah. skinned, have a hard time being looked at. As beautiful. Yep, exactly. You know what I mean? And you know, uh, I think, and I don't know, maybe I'm stretching here a little bit because it, right after that he said, We praise this white god, right? The Chris Hemingsworth and stuff like that, but he also played Thor as well. So I don't know if that's, that's what hard. he means by that, that's but. Hard. Um, I, obviously, he means that you know white is looked at is 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 the right, standard. right? Yeah, the standard and and you're above all, right? But if he had, if that's what he's trying to go with that's with hard. the Thor reference as well, because he was a god in uh, Avengers, that that might have. I think that's where hard. he's going. That's hard. We praise this white god for getting we're royal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We come from royalty. Moments when thunder comes, cover my thunder comes. So that I think that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, he's still playing on the Thor reference. Uh, moments when thunder comes, uh, cover my chest while I'm running from the spears they threw at this young Tashala. Mm -hmm. Through logic, he's young. That was yes. hard. Dude, hard, man. So the whole Black Panther, yep. Chadwick Bossman, yep. Thor, hard. Chris Hemingsworth play very dense and uh, very real. And again, just, just extremely yeah, vulnerable, dude. man. He's pouring his heart out, man. I know it can't be easy to do this. But it's important. <laughs> I'm telling you. But it's important for stuff like this to get out there, man, so we can change that. So going in, man, we can't touch on we can't literally touch on every single line, but it's it's very dense, man. I, God, I encourage man. everybody to go back and pull the lyrics up. Yeah, and, please. And watch this. And just sit with it. No, we, oh hell the heavens hurt and chastise the tabby foes. We praise this white dog for getting we royal in moments when thunder comes. Cover my chest while I'm running from the spin they do at this young T'Challa through logic keep young, but he gotta be dumb. And it looks like he's even going into his misdiagnosis as a child, right? They gave him uh -huh. Ritalin. It just seems like anytime a kid is hyper, yep, give him a drug, give him a drug. Yep. And um, what it did was, it looks like it, they silenced his tongue of this, of this melanated, melanated Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves, unaware that Oswin had been one of one. You know what I mean? But he gotta be dumb, right? So mm -hmm. he's saying just because he was hyperactive, they may have looked at him as if he needed some sort of drugs, right? You know, he was looked at as maybe dumb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they misdiagnosed him, and as a result, you know, I mean, it, it kind of fried his brain a little bit. Yeah. It seems like unaware yeah. that dude, they were dealing with someone that was gifted. Was great, right? Yeah. It was great. <laughs> one of one, Neo. Yeah. Right. That's a mm -hmm. Matrix reference. Exactly. Blinded by my dark side, innocent, my heart cry. Never saw those hard eyes. My crushes fell alongside. Lighter pigment, heartthrobs who never got their heart right. Then Chris says, really? It's like, and he's duh, like, nigga. nigga, duh. And I think that's really telling for him to say, really. You know what I mean? That, that was that was obviously very deliberate for him yep. to have Chris say that. Because yep. Chris is light-skinned, right? Exactly. So it's, mm -hmm. um, I think that we all don't know. I'm a little lighter-skinned. You don't really know what someone's going through in that, in that circumstance because you're not in their shoes, right? So I thought that that was really telling that he put that there. He's like, duh, yeah. Like, you have no idea, you have yep. no clue what it's like being dark skin and being in my shoes. You know, it's a thing called colorism, man. That exists in all cultures, yep, though. It not, does. not just black culture, You're black right. culture, definitely. But even in Indian culture, darker skinned Indians are, are looked at 
as a it's just they're not looked at in, in such high esteem as the lighter skinned Indians are. Right. I mean, anywhere you go, it just seems like the closer you are to this sort of uh, white standard of beauty, the more beautiful you are perceived. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yep. You know what I mean? So um, I think that that's real. And I think that, again, like I said, that was really telling for him to have Chris say that because you don't always know. I mean, just because you're in the same race as someone, um, your phenotype. Could, could, could lead you to have that's completely true. different experience in life that's than true. someone that's of the same race as you. So I thought that was brilliant how he did that. Because you're unaware. No, my crushes fell alongside how the big man heart throbs who never got their heart right. Really? Nigga, duh. I hated every pretty bougie girl passing notes to everyone but me. My ex got paid to date me. She probably got paid to fuck me. I probably mm. never got over that. I started fucking a cousin. Looking outside of myself to become someone that I wasn't cautious. Mm. I went in raw. No intention on being awkward. She took that life inside of me. They she got that abortion. Yeah. This part that haunted me was the lost seed that didn't belong to me. It was all three of us. Yeah, dude, that was that, beautiful. That, that, that was a fitting ending. Yeah, that, that was incredible. Dude, that was crazy. That, wow. that was phenomenal, dude. Phenomenal. I know why they wanted us to do that shit. Now we see. Yeah, that now shit was crazy. Now we see. Excellent, excellent, excellent uh, performance from all three of those gentlemen. Everybody got off on this, man. Incredible. Everybody got off. One thing I liked um, that Oswin kind of mentioned here at the, at the end, he said, "I'm not. this is not a black or white thing, because that's what I was saying, too, when, when we paused it earlier in the video. Um... It's not about that, but what it is about is just his personal struggles and how he was perceived. Being a dark-skinned black man. Exactly. Specifically, we want to you make know. sure we're clear. Like, being a dark-skinned black man, there are challenges that um, that you face, or being a dark-skinned person in general. Yeah, in general, yeah. There are challenges that you face that even people of your own race may not even see, because he specifically was talking about um, how he, he, he kind of despised the, the light-skinned dudes and how they broke... Um, the light-skinned girl's hearts. So he never got those hard eyes, right? He was yep. never the one yep. that the girls went after. I mean, and then he even went so far as to say, man, that the light-skinned, I guess the light-skinned girl, he ended up having sex with her cousin and getting her pregnant. Yep. She got an abortion just for him to later find out that that kid wasn't, wasn't even his. his. It was from a light-skinned dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. So he's dealt with being the, the black kid, the dark-skinned guy that's always been sort of chastised because of his skin color. And then it goes even deeper by saying, man, one of his most hurtful moments in life was uh, finding out that he had an abortion and the child didn't belong to him. It belonged to someone that was light skinned. Yeah, exactly. On top of him always feeling um, less than yep. based off of what people were saying, even in his own community. I mean, that was incredibly deep, man. And that's what made him, I think, go off into the deep end. Because that's what he said. He's like, I think that's kind of what, what made me the way I am. You know, mm -hmm. he's like, I hated you. I hated this. I hated that, you know. And, um... And it really kind of puts you in the mind of of how he felt, man. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. But That's I love, crazy, dude. It, that shit was giving me chills, it's man. It's incredible. It really was. I'm, I'm all bullshit aside. Yeah, and I love this line right here when he said, um, my culture is the landing strip for every vulture that's lit. My culture is the landing strip for every vulture that's lit. We can talk about hip-hop. We can talk about black yep. culture, urban culture that's taking the world by storm. For every vulture, for everybody that tries to come into the culture, and take from it, that's what a vulture yep. is. Is I'm the landing strip. Yeah. I, I, you use the shit out of it. You use it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the landing strip is representative of, of ground zero of the culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're a vulture, you have to land here in order to, to obtain what this culture has to offer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're taking from it because you're a vulture, but this is this is the, the origin. Yep. Right? You um, won't have it without it. You won't have it. So that was brilliant um, writing there. He said, we've been that bit. You know, the little light that shines despite where it is, which is incredible, yeah. right? Despite where we come from, right? Whether it be from hoods, ghettos, concrete, mm -hmm. jungles. When he says we, meaning black people, yep. we've been that big. We've been lit, yep. right? We've Absolutely. been that light that still shines regardless of what circumstances. Despite where it's at. Or where it's at. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then even here. And I hated you. Hated your smiles. Hated your yep. grins. Yep. Put my hatred on you because that place that I lived, lived in, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was still, I was suffering. 
You know what I mean? So I projected my hate onto you, onto yep. maybe people who are lighter skinned. Correct. Uh, maybe even white people. The whole thing was amazing. But what was really compelling about it was that you, you have this kid, this dark skinned kid who's been overlooked. Uh, maybe he's been picked on and who's been just, people have just looked down on him because of his skin color. Right. So he's already been dealing with sort of, um, sort of his, his hatred. He even mentioned, man, that he was resentful towards light skinned people because of um, his upbringing, yeah, right? Absolutely. You know, and then he realized that it was because of him. He projected his his um, insecurities out because of what he had been through, um, even if it was kind of maybe justified. You know what I mean? To an extent, because of just again, I'm you know I've, I've heard it. We've heard it time yeah. and time again in the black community about this whole light skin dark skin thing, and it's ridiculous. And there's a lot of pain in that man. And I thought he just and he brought that to life, man, because I, he said it. He said he uh, he probably never got over that. He brought everything home so well, though, man. When he said, "I learned that the melanin on the scale outweighs gold." So if I say so, I feel the wealth inside of the skin that I'm in. This ain't no black and white thing. It's a me and you, despite the few within ourselves. We identify it and get it right there. Yeah. That exactly. was the perfect way to end that. Beautiful, man. Right? Beautiful. It's because, about, you got to talk about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? These yep. are things that, that people experience, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not pretty. The world's not fair because it's a reality. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I've, I've heard this. I've seen this in my, within my own family. I've seen this within uh, amongst friends. I've heard these things, like the things that he alluded to as well. So he's cute for a dark-skinned girl. And um, colorism exists, it's real. It just speaks to how oblivious um, that you we all be. are. Yeah, you know what I mean, to other true. people's struggles. I mean, yep. it could be in your own family. You you could be a, a, a dark skin and your brother could be light skin, right? Your cousin can be light skin, you could be dark skin. Yep. You don't know yep. um, what someone else is going through, man. And I think it's important to get that out there so that we can kind of, we can stop these prejudices and, and, and stop the nonsense and the ignorance, man. It's important to, to educate, right? Absolutely. Some of the best writing that we've heard all year. Excellent writing by all three of these gentlemen. Dude. They knocked it out the park. Um, I, of course, especially, we loved that last, yeah. that last sort of uh, part of the Cypher Man where they all sort of bared their souls and uh, and just and gave us sort of a peek inside, inside their world, right? Mm -hmm. What's been kind of ailing them, what's been holding them back. Seems like they exercised their demons. Um, and they were transparent, they were very vulnerable. Yeah, big time. And, and you know what's good about that too, man, is a lot of people um, see artists and see their lives from different lenses, right? Mm -hmm. And they think that they, that they, oh, you got the life, man. You're doing this and you're doing that, man. You're a rapper, man, you're balling, you know? And um, I think everyone has their own demons and deal with their demons in different ways. That's right. You know? Yeah. And that's what they, they kind of displayed here. Excellent, you know? incredible writing. And that's what we're talking about, guys. Yes, sir. For those of you, first and foremost, for those of you who are even watching this video, thank you. You're from the club. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who took the time out of your life yep. to watch this, because this is probably gonna be at least an hour, uh, we appreciate you yeah, guys. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because it's gonna be a long video. Yep. Um, but it tells me that you you have a, a true love and passion for hip hop. Absolutely. Yep. To sit through this and really even to even know who these guys are. So salute to you guys as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully we did it justice. That was a lot. We yeah, weren't really expecting all of that. Your boy is tired. Boy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm losing my voice. So we weren't really expecting all of that. Can't wait to see what these guys have to offer. Maybe we can get a, o, a OCD mixtape. Maybe some albums from these gentlemen in 2019. I hope so. But that's it. Yeah, man. That's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. It will allow you to get early access to our content. Don't forget. We have merch available now. Absolutely. That information will also be available in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. Vegas. We out. We out.